Herzlich willkommen, sehr namgela, and welcome to the Bundesliga Connection with Chris Harrington on the SL Podcast in partnership with DW Berlin. It's time for the latest from Germany's domestic football league, the Bundesliga and more. For that, we are joined by Chris Harrington from our partner station Deutsche Welle in Berlin, Germany. Chris, Bayern have looked a bit shaky in January so far. Three draws in a row have their defending champions holding on to the lead by merely one point. Yeah, that is the absolute truth. Only one point separates Bayern and the rest of the pack. We've seen a rough patch from Bayern before. Once earlier in August, they had three successive draws. And now two of the three draws have come against sides outside of the top four. And that's the concern, right? First Cologne, now Frankfurt. Frankfurt has always been an issue. You see Leroy Sané got the defending champions ahead, but then Frankfurt Frankfurt looked dull. It looked like Bayern were the dominant side, but then it was Diachi Kamada who subbed in, and then things changed a lot in the lean towards Frankfurt's side. Randall Kolomuani ended up converting and leveling the score after he beat his France teammate, Dayat Upamakano, in a one-in-one situation. And then the equalizer was there. It was done and dusted. And then that pretty much closed out the third successive draw in a row by Bayern Munich. You know, but the reality is it's very tough right now when you look at, you know, the situation that Bayern's dealing with. They are dealing with injuries. They just brought in a new goalkeeper and so forth in Jan Summer. And then he's conceded a goal in every single match. And then the offense on Bayern's side has not been that electric as of late. Julian Nagelsmann had some words, you know, the obvious. He stated the obvious. You need to be able to play big games. You also have to play the small ones in a way that you have a good psychological point of view. You know, basically, you have to stay focused when uh, other things are bigger in the future. And he's referencing PSG. That's a big clash for Bayern Munich coming up. There's no doubt about that. But then they've been, you know, letting things slip and uh, other teams are taking advantage. We have to wait and see, you know, what Bayern have. Uh, the, n- the injuries I've mentioned before, you know, between the posts, I think is their most important missing piece. That's Manuel Noya. He is the captain, and he is he typically holds the defense down, you know, but uh, they're going to have to get things together. Nagelsmann referenced Sadio Mane before, hoping that he would be able to return. He'd be healthy in, in time for the PSG clash. It looks like, Maybe not the first leg, maybe the second leg. But all in all, Bayern are going to have to pick up, you know, uh, the pace a bit if they want to hold on to the lead. Since the restart, the standings have changed a bit, Chris. Which sides have impressed you the most? Well, you have to look at Dortmund. Dortmund cracked the top four. That's amazing. They jumped from sixth. They had three straight wins. But when you uh, look at those wins, they're tight margins. They're only beating teams by one goal. Their most recent victory came over Bayer Leverkusen on Sunday that got them into the top four. But none of those teams have been in the top half of the standings that Dortmund have succeeded against. I thought Sebastian Alea would be a boost of electricity for the club. He did provide an assist in one of those victories. You know, but the team needs to do more. They're going to have to do more. They have a really important fixture coming up. Uh, And and I think that's a really big and interesting one. They face Freiburg, who um, recently slipped out of the top four. Uh, Union Berlin have been impressive as well. I think they've been a bit more impressive because you look at them right now, they're second in the standings. But also the three wins against lackluster opponents. Leipzig have been picking up the pace a bit. They came off a draw, then two back-to-back wins. They're third. Uh, But it's interesting, only one point separates the top four teams. So every place is up at stake right now. And I think when you look at the fixtures coming up, you have to look at uh, Wolfsburg, hosting Bayern. I think that's very interesting. That could pretty much pump the brakes on Bayern's progress. Union Berlin, they're second right now. They host Mainz and uh, RB Leipzig are at Cologne. You know, and then when you factor in the German Cup and the European pitch, I think the team is, the standings are going to change quite a bit in the next few match days. The third round of the German Cup kicks off this week, Chris. And what are you expecting? Well, you have cup holders, RB Leipzig. They host Hoffenheim. Leipzig, you know, they're a fortress at home. I think they're secure in moving past and beyond that fixture, uh, one step closer to to successfully defending their title in the German Cup. Uh, Another one to look at is Mainz. Mainz hosts Bayern. You know, uh, Mainz have a player that's coming off a hat trick. You know, uh, and then in speaking of 
how many goals Bayern have been, been producing lately, that could become an interesting fixture because momentum has to matter, you know, because that's the next match for both of these teams. Mainz coming off a win, Bayern coming off a draw. Then Union Berlin, they host Wolfsburg. Wolfsburg just saw their unbeaten run come to an end recently. You know, so all in all, very exciting fixtures coming up, you know, and uh, only uh, a few of these teams can survive. I think a lot of eyes would be focused on Bayern Munich because they were ejected prematurely out of this competition last year by Gladbach. Five goal. They, they were beat down miserably in that competition. Nagelsmann talking about bouncing things around. Bayern are going to have to pick things up. I'm expecting, you know, them to use Mainz as an example, but uh, we have to wait and see. Before we let you go, Chris, just like always, what else has hit your radar? Just an individual spotlight. The performance of a hat trick from uh, Mainz forward. Uh, Kareem uh, Onisiwo, you know, he's been electric, you know, uh, scoring goals like that. Maybe Bayern will have to focus on him being the main threat, you know, in that upcoming German Cup fixture, you know, but uh, he, he's electric. And in, in terms of goal scorers, Christopher Okuko's on the bitch, and now he's been surpassed. Niklas Fulkrug from Werder Bremen now leads the, sport, the scoring sheet, you know, in, in the Bundesliga after scoring a brace this past match day. You know, so uh, it should get interesting. Just keep an eye on all the individuals and all the action, and I'll be right here to give you the update once a team crashes out of the German Cup and another team steps up to maybe get closer to dethroning Bayern. Thank you very much for the Bundesliga update, Mr. Chris Harrington from our partner station Deutsche Welle in Berlin, Germany. Have a fantastic day further. Danke schön und auf Wiedersehen. The Bundesliga Connection is a team effort driven by the following incredible individuals. The show is hosted by Aidan Hewitt and Chris Harrington. It is produced by Chris Harrington. It is edited by Aidan Hewitt and Uli Presch. And graphics are provided by David Scullard.